hello and welcome back to my channel Johnny Geos Photography if you've liked this video please give it a like and it'd be great if you'd like to subscribe to, to my channel. Uh, today, um, this morning, I'm at Blee Tarn in the Langdales in the Lake District, uh, literally 30 minutes uh, from where I live. It's a fantastic location. I love to come here in all seasons, during the night, uh, to try and get the Aurora, the Milky Way. Um, but I'm not here to talk about photography, um, uh, landscapes and, and compositions uh, today. What I'm here to do is to do a review on this LQ 365C Leo Photo tripod. Now, I got introduced to Leo Photo through um, uh, Mark Gaylor from Australia. He's a landscape photographer, and I bought one of the um, Leo Ranger versions of uh, the tripod, carbon fibers, very, very small. It's great to go right up the fells, and it's very light. It's small and it compacts and fits into your into your um, your rucksack. So uh, off the back of that one, because it was so well built, I thought actually I need another tripod, um, and I'll tell you the reasons why uh, for when I go to uh, Iceland later on in the year. And um, so I'm just going to uh, show you around my existing uh, tripod, which is a Manfrotto uh, B3. And uh, well, I'm six foot two, so. As you can see, if I just come back a bit, it, it's uh, it's a bit lower. So what I've been doing for the last two and a half years, I've been hunching my back down, and it's been hurting my back. And the camera's not actually been eye level because this is a, this is as tall as this tripod goes. It's fantastic. It's made of carbon fibre. Um, it compacts well down. Uh, it's got a good um, ball head on it. Um, but I say that that's that's kind of the only height that it goes and it's also quite flimsy uh, when it comes to being in the wind it doesn't like it at all gets blown over and also if I can come down to here and lift it out a bit these rubber feet if they go in sand they get sucked out um so yeah a, a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare when it comes to um this particular tripod the Manfrotto B3 um love to have stayed with it but just in the wind it's just a bit of a nightmare however this lq 365c whoops with the lh 47 ball head is an absolute beast um it's carbon fiber um it comes in five sections and um i've just recently bought a small rig l plate bracket um so um, you get the whole tripod and it compacts well down. The ball head comes off. Um, you also get a nice bag. Uh, you also get an extendable, so you can stick that on there and then your ball head, which gives you even more height and um, goes over to, to two meters. Uh, so you get your strap, you get an extra additional, which you can actually then turn it around and dangle it down and spread the legs out so you can get those really low shots and turning your camera upside down and um, you also get I'm a bit nearer you also get um like a tool kit and you know some 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 spiky feet as well which i just think that's great um, because you can take it on ice and other places where the terrain changes whereas the leo photo ones i've uh, i've struggled to take it places and where the, the grommets have been sucked out and the grommets are 30 pound for three so i've had to replace those a few times so just take me take the camera off it's an arca swiss plate put that down somewhere so then i'll collapse it down so you see how small I just twist and then push it back. Some people do it better than me. I just do it any other way I can get them down quick enough. So that's how it packs down. It packs into that size. It's still slipping out. That sort of size. And the ball head will come off. So you can take the ball head if you're going traveling in a separate bag. Uh, and then just carry your, your tripod in the side of your rucksack because my this doesn't quite fit in my large rucksack. I'll probably have to take the ball head, but it's the build quality is amazing. In this country, they retail out uh, and the retail at around about thousand pounds with the ball head. Uh, but I got this direct from China, uh, saved uh, a few hundred pounds, 
which was fantastic and I'm really impressed with it so far. Um, it's got a leveling top on the Arca Swiss, Swiss, Swiss plate, should I say. And um, yeah, so just to kind of extend it again in position, unlock them straight down, unlock them again, straight down, just lock them by turning them. The carbon fiber tubes, they feel quite thin, but actually they're very robust because that's what you pay for is a carbon fiber. So there we go, really sturdy that, that's not going anywhere. There is also a little hook as well. I'll show you the little hook and I'll show you around it. So yeah, so there's your little hook underneath there. And on the top here, um, we've got obviously the Arca Swiss plate. And we've got the control knob, which will kind of move the ball head around and then retighten it. And these here, these will, oops, sorry. These will move it around and then lock it back into place. And this is your other tightening nut as well. On this side, you've got a release, a release catch to actually release the ball head out when you've undone it. And um, yeah, probably good to see um, how it folds out and how it can bend out and how low it can go. So we'll just do that now. So you have to, you have to kind of pull these out and do a bit of aerobics. The same with the front. <laughs> I don't think you'd actually have it like this. You'd probably have it shorter, but you kind of get the idea if the camera's picking it up. If not, I'll get it with my GoPro. Obviously, it's not a great time to shoot here at Blay Time because the sun's behind me and you get loads of shadows. Um, but here we go. That's what it kind of look, looks like when you can it'll go lower than that as well and obviously if you have your the tube as well you can turn it upside down but what i like about it sorry got back to my camera my back to the camera what i do like about it is that it, it's height so just so i don't quote wrong um these are some of the uh, the, the specs of it so the tripod is Leo Photo 365C. The C stands for carbon. Uh, it's got um, an LH47 uh, ball head with it, which I think is really robust. Um, it has five leg segments. So what, I'm six foot two. So when it's all fully extended, I can put the thing on the uh, extender on top. You know, I'm not gonna struggle and you're gonna get a really good, good height as well uh, for that. So the maximum, uh, the fold height is 590 mils. The maximum height is 1930, so nearly nearly two meters. Um, and the minimum height is 190, so when the ball heads off and everything is um, is is packed down. And um, the weight is 1650 grams. So it's especially with the ball head. The ball head's probably the heaviest, but if you can put that into your into your luggage if you're going away, um, then that will save you. Uh, some weight so let's put this back on everyone does it differently but it's still fairly new to me but i thought actually i'd do a review on it because when i looked on youtube i couldn't find many reviews on this when i was looking for my new tripod and they're not all locked into place that's the thing um i suppose with the, the click lock systems on some um tripods you, when they clicked over they clicked over and you know that a lot um sometimes with these you've got to make sure that you tighten them but not over tighten them because you don't want to you don't want to break it so there we go that's the leo photo 
uh, Mr. Q LQ365C. C stands for carbon fiber. It's a compact tripod. And at the minute, I love it. And actually it's gonna be great in winds. It's gonna be great to take to Iceland because I can change the feet and I put those, those spiky feet on that, <coughs> that I've shown you. Probably won't take in its bag. And uh, yeah, um, pretty good tripod. Pleased with it so far. There is an adapter here at the side, which I'll show you now. So I presume that is, you can get an, an extra additional uh, attachment. I think it's for your mobile or for another, um, maybe like a, a, a monitor uh, perhaps, but that's another little adapt uh, addition uh, to the tripod. Um, but I just kind of love this because it's robust and it's height and um, it fits my camera on uh, really well. Oh, I've just seen a heron. Just sat there waiting for the fish. So hopefully that's been a quick uh, review of the LQ, uh, Mr. Q, Mr. Q LQ365C Leo Photo um, tripod. Um, they're not massively well known in the UK, but it's certainly, when I look at my um, Manfrotto B3 Advanced, it kind of really surpasses um, the build quality of this. I paid about 250 quid, so I'm still gonna use this um, for different projects. Um, so yeah, there we go. So as you can tell, um, I'm six foot two and with the extender on in the middle, um, it's way high. Um, it's good because now I can get over just this hill that's in front of me that the drone's capturing and to get the reflections of uh, the Langdale Pikes, although now it's gone a bit choppy. Um, so, uh, so that's the great thing about it. Sorry, this is beeping at me. So as you can see uh, from the tripod, I've got it up again at the top of uh, this hill overlooking Blee Tarn and the Langdale Pikes. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see uh, from, the, from the drone um when it comes back hopefully and um yeah basically uh, with this centerpiece in in place um and with the ball head on top you can get really um that extra height to kind of give you that that extra angle um which i can now see the langdale pikes in the uh, in the water as it's calmed down now uh, so that's a, a really great asset um to have this centerpiece um, here as well and also that will flip around then and then you can flip this setup to have the camera below to get those really low shots so you're not doing your back in or crawling in mud or getting completely wet um, like I've just done and not use that so yeah I'm six foot two this is way over me I know it's a bit low down here but um, really great tripod I've had it and um, the legs out and spread them to, for a couple of shots that you'll see at the end of this video. So if you don't want to waffle and see all the drone footage and have the review, if you want to just see the photographs, just go to the end of the end of the review and you'll see the photographs there. Um, it's a beautiful day here, loads of people out. I don't like it when it's loads of people out because it gets too touristy. So I'm packing my bags and going back home and doing this edit of this video. If you like this video, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, It'd be greatly appreciated. Until the next time on Johnny GS Photography and my channel, bye for now.